Hi, welcome back to Scrapbooks Made Easy with Beth. Today I'm going to show you a super simple page using the Creative Memory Circle Cutter. If you're not familiar with it, so this is where your blade is. You do have to push in the white and push it down in order for the blade to pop up and actually cut because you can't cut yourself like that, which I love. This is where it holds your paper nice and tight. You screw this and unscrew it. Make your circle, however, if you're looking for an eight inch circle, you're going to line up your black line with eight, 10, 11, 12, you can go as little as three and as big as 12. But what I am going to use today is this little hole right there, which I really, really think is cool. So I'm gonna put this in the middle of the page, push this down, and then I'm gonna pull this to where I want my circle to be. So I'm using this, so I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit more. And then I'm going to screw tight the white, and now I can let go. And then I'm gonna use our pens. Our pens have a fine and a thick top there. So I am going to put this in, and I'm going to draw this circle all the way around. So I'm not actually cutting this time, I'm drawing. And now I'm going to move it just a tiny little bit and pick a different color. Again, I wanna use the thinner side, the fine side, and I'm going to move it, I want it to be the same size. I'm gonna move it just a little bit. So I obviously don't wanna draw over, but I wanna make it a little obscure. So there, now I have my blue. I'm gonna do one more, I'm gonna use the red. I'll show you the other side, so you can see it's a much fatter tip there. And now I'm just gonna move it over a little bit more. So there's no measurement on that, you're just gonna move it around so it's not the same. It's kind of cool that it leaves the dots where you're starting and ending. And now to embellish it just a little bit more, you could take your thicker end and put dots on it every once in a while. So I could just put a fat dot in and around it, no rhyme or reason. I'm just going around one more. And then I could take the blue and do the same thing. Use the dot edge, go around just for decoration. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the yellow. It's a little harder to see, obviously, but have some yellow dots as well. All right, so now I've drawn a really cool thing to have my background. Um, clearly I didn't center it, so spend a little more time making sure that this divot is at your six and at your six, which mine was not when I started, but you'll still get the idea. I have pre-cut some squares. These are four and a half by four and a half. So I'm going to put those, overlay these on my circle. I still want my circle to show, so don't cover up too much. And then this one is three by four and a half. So that's going to go up in the corner. And then I have cut, oh, I don't know where it is. I have cut a white piece of paper. So that is perfect. All right, so that's going to be my journal box or something fun. And then I'll take pictures from his birthday party and put them there. And then what I'm using is the birthday bonanza. So it's fairly new from Creative Memories. It has some bling if I wanted to use that, and you can kind of see it has birthday wishes, hip hip hooray, time to party. But now I can just take a few decorations and put these wherever I want on the page. So there I might do some make a wish with some balloons, put birthday wishes up here with some decorations going down. Again, if this was centered, you wouldn't have as much white down there. 
and then you can just fill it in. Another fun thing would be, let me set this aside. So I'll actually show you how to make a circle. So now what I wanna do is put a circle in the middle, but I don't want it to be super big. So I am going to go, this is five. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna to go to four. We'll see if that works. So then you wanna make sure that you're not gonna cut off your mat. So if I just hold that and turn it, I can see under that divot is where it's gonna cut and it'll work. So now I'm gonna push the white in and down on this. And just like that, I have a circle. Now, if I want to go smaller or bigger, I'm going to still hold this down. I'm going to loosen it up and I'm gonna move this in just a little bit and I'm gonna do it again. And now, I have a circle. Oh, I didn't push hard enough. Let me try it again. So let's go a little bit bigger. And yep, you'll probably do the same thing when you first use it. I'm a little distracted. So then you can make sure, yep, that time I cut it. Now I'm gonna go out or in just a little bit. It doesn't really matter which way you go. And you're gonna cut it again. There we go, that time I'm pushing hard enough. All right, so now I have a fun little circle that I can add to the page. Maybe down here. I could put a picture in that or I can highlight. So the circle, the circle uh, cutter can be a lot of fun either using pens or just to cut a circle out of your paper. So I hope you enjoy it, super simple. And I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching.